She-Hulk is one of the most controversial and most hated things that Marvel Studios has ever put out. So why not add some fuel to the flame if you're Dan Slott, who already has a ton of people that hate him for various reasons. So he now defends She-Hulk and says, No, you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. So again, this comes at us from Dan Slott. Many of you might remember him for, quote, ruining Spider-Man forever, end quote, with the superior Spider-Man, or various other things he's written and done. As most people know, if you've been reading She-Hulk um, over the last decade, you know that Dan Slott has written plenty of She-Hulk, and uh, he's especially written some stuff that inspired the TV series, and if you look at the comics and the reviews, they are highly reviewed and critically acclaimed. So he recently decided to uh, talk a little bit about this, saying that if you think that She-Hulk wasn't comic book accurate, which is a lot of the complaints he's seen, he says you're wrong. Because he's written more issues of She-Hulk than anybody, which is in fact true. He says he's read more She-Hulk than almost everyone, which is also true, as it's one of his favorite characters, and he's very much made it known how much he loves and how much he owns for She-Hulk. And then he says, you're wrong if you hate it because of all these things, because it's the most comic book accurate show in the MCU. So, you're wrong. And, um, again, Dan Slott does come off as rude and somewhat condescending, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be victim-playing YouTubers saying he's insulting them and all that, but... It goes both ways, and he's defending this show because it is the most comic accurate. It literally is. I know people in the comments will also say, no, it's not, but it is. It literally is. If you've ever read She-Hulk and watched the show, you know exactly what they did. You can pinpoint to the exact panel. And some people will say, well, that doesn't make it good. True. I will agree with you that taking it directly from the comic doesn't make it good. Hence why people don't like Batman v Superman. So let me just play the reverse Uno card on you. So again, it's an argument that's just going to have stuck people like fighting and yelling at each other from both sides. But he's not wrong that it is the most comic accurate. And, um, you know, depending on what you look for in a show, I've seen a lot of people where this show is on top of their MCU rankings for Phase 4. I've seen people who it's their least favorite. So it's whatever you're looking for. My ranking, as I refined it, it's probably going to change a little bit over the next couple weeks as I rewatch some stuff, but it's in the bottom half. But again, there's just stuff I like more, so that's why. It's not that I hate it, but I do have some issues with it, and um, the biggest issues I have with it was obviously what I talked about before, and that's the CG. I, Good God, did it look bad. In some scenes, it was just horrific. 